Today, our government has started the process of exiting the EU by triggering uh, Article 50. Uh, and I recognise how difficult that will be for all of our EU students and staff, and so I wanted to address you directly. Uh, of course, I understand how difficult this is for you and how unsettling and unpleasant it must be. So let me reassure you that we want to support you as much as we uh, possibly can. As EU students and staff, you are an intrinsic part of this university. You are very central to the core of what we do, uh, and we value your input very highly. So against that background, uh, we have been continuing our efforts to make sure that your future can be as certain as possible. And in particular, we've put the issue of right to remain uh, as our number one issue to the government of things that they must sort out very urgently uh, in the uh, Article 50 negotiations. We hosted a select committee of which I gave evidence and last week we also hosted the Minister uh, from the Department for exiting uh, the European Union. In both of those meetings we were able to re-emphasise the importance of right to remain and the rights of European citizens who work for us uh, and who study here. Uh, I was very pleased that we were able to press that point home quite so clearly to key players uh, in this process. I promise you that our efforts will be never-ending until we get this set of issues resolved. We'll be working through the Russell Group, um, through UUK, uh, and directly with government departments to keep making the point uh, that we must sort things out for our European staff uh, and students. In addition uh, to right to remain, there's also the issue about future students and what will happen uh, for 1819 entry and 1920 uh, entry. Obviously, we will keep the pressure on. That is an absolute and sincere promise.